G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be ranking the top 30 AFL midfielders. I'm going to rank the current top 30 AFL midfielders on how well they've traveled this year. Now it is just my very uneducated football opinion. So let me know in the comments down below how wrong I got these and I'll be happy to reply to a few of you guys after the video. I just want to give a quick shout out to you, Kat, who whipped the tier maker up for me. If you want me to do any tier makers, uh, make them on tiermaker.com and send them to me on Instagram and I'll give a few of them a go. All right, Dusty Martin has been very good to start this season. I don't think he's been elite. He is an elite player, so don't get that twisted, but he's been very good to start uh, the season so far. Now, Travis Boak was super impressive last year. I don't know if he's been as impressive this year. I could be wrong. You guys will be quick to let me know in the comments down below, but I'm gonna put Boki in the very good column as well. Obviously a star for the power, one of the best power players ever, but he's going in very good. Darcy Parrish, last six or seven weeks, has been very, very, very good. I don't know if it's been, a, well, his last seven weeks have been elite. I don't know if his year as a whole has been elite. I'm gonna put Darcy Parrish <laughs> in the very good category, and, um, I might bump him up in a second. I'm going to see how the tier sort of looks after a couple of minutes, and I might bump him up. David Mundy, geez, has been very good. Borderline elite, but David Mundy has been very good to start this year. Jack Steele, he's kicked goals at important times. He's been one of the best for the Saints. I haven't watched a lot of Saints games, so this is going to be a very uneducated opinion, which is what you guys tune in for. You're certainly not tuning in for any expertise, but I might put Steely at okay. Patrick Dangerfield has been okay this season. Obviously injured and suspended. He's only played a couple of games. He's obviously going to have a good season. Um, he's now back. I assume he's niggle-free. Had a bit of a groin issue at the start of the year. Got suspended. Obviously had the syndesmosis. I assume he's going to tear the rest of the season up, but he's been okay to start the season. Clayton Oliver has been elite this year. Demon biased, I don't care. Clayton Oliver has been elite. Marcus Bontempelli has been elite this year. Probably going to win the round though. Hugh McLuggage has been elite this year. Hugh, have a look at the view from up there, brother, because you have been elite. Taylor Adams has been very good this year. He's so important to the Pies. Jack McRae has been elite this year. He is a star. 30 touches for fun every game. Uh, we love the way he goes about it. But uh, yeah, Jack McRae has been elite. All these players are having great years, to be fair. <sighs> this is going to be a tough one. He's not a forward. I might be getting this wrong. I haven't seen a heap of Freo games. Has Fifey been average? It's a question. It's a question, Fifey. His kicking has been below average. Potentially Arden Street, his goal kicking, but um, I, I can't disrespect Fifey like that, and I think I'm probably wrong to put him in average. I think he's been okay. Jared Lyons, there's a lot of fanfare about Jared Lyons. He's probably all Australian. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if I can put him in elite though. Has Jared Lyons been elite? Like he's been very, very good for the player that we think he is, which we think he's a bit of a pinch hitting role playing type. And he's obviously excelling expectations for that role and becoming more of an elite sort of player. I don't think I can possibly put him in the elite category. I think he's been very, very good though. So Jared Lyons is in the very, very good category. Lockie Neal has been okay. I think that's fair to say. I think when he starts getting a wriggle on, he'll be very, very good. Obviously he had some injury troubles as well. Um, got tagged out of a few games early with Mark O'Connor. I think that's when he was sort of trying to find his way into the season. Um, but yeah, Lockie Neal has been okay. Mitch Duncan has been very good. I love Mitchie Duncan, one of my favorite players for the Cats. Love the way he goes about it. Uh, he's had one of the more underrated careers, really. Josh Kelly, I'm gonna put him in okay. That could be wrong. Um, he's probably gotten rocking and rolling similar to the way the Giants have recently but I'm not actually sure and he you know when I'm trying to think he hasn't done anything elite and he's probably been very good Josh Kelly but I'm chucking him uh, in the okay category Cam Guthrie's been very good 
he's he's come on in the last couple of years. It's just crazy how some players take some 11 years to start really performing. Um, 11 years of pre-seasons, 11 years of being in the professional system, and it just clicks for him. And Cam Guthrie's last two or three years has been super, super impressive. All right, getting down to a couple, I think Adam Trelaw has been okay. He's been on the good side of the okay category, if that makes sense. I think he's been solid. When you get Adam Trelaw, um, you know he's going to be good. But the dogs have that many midfielders to steal the limelight that you don't need Adam Trelaw doing the heavy lifting as much as what he probably needed to do at the pie. So I think Adam Trelaw has been okay. Sam Walsh carries the Blues every week. I think Sam Walsh has been very good. I think he's been very good this year. I don't think any top 30 players have been below average, if we're going to be honest. And that's why it's tough to rank them, because to be honest, even though some of these blokes have been okay, they've still been really, really serviceable for their team. So this is quite, this is probably the hardest tier maker I've ever made. Cunners, I'm going to put him in okay. He hasn't been playing the way he played the last couple of years, where he was absolutely dominating, has he? Has he been dominating? Um, correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm going to put Cunners in okay, but let me know if I'm wrong on that one. Ollie Wines has been elite this year. He has been elite. So good to see Ollie Wines perform the way he's been performing. Um, yeah, contested ball. Bull, star of the comp, and he's been performing really, really well for the Port Adelaide Footy Club. Tom Mitchell this season. Putting in okay. I don't know if that's me thinking about how his team's been performing and sort of tying him in with that, but um, I'm comfortable with Tommy Mitchell being in okay. He's He is a star. He's a Brownlow medalist. I can see him leaving at the end of the year, to be honest. He, he looks like he came to Hawthorne to see if he could get some success, and now that they haven't delivered on their promise, I sort of see someone like him taken off. Obviously, we'll see how all that plays out, but Tommy Mitchell is in the okay category for mine. All right, Rory Laird. I think Rory Laird has been okay. He's been all right. He's a serviceable, he's a very good player, actually, Rory Laird, but um, if that was Ben Keys, he'd be in the elite category. But I think Rory Laird's been okay this year. He's been solid. Took Miller, he tries his guts out, and for mine, he goes in the very good. Um, one of the Suns' best players, one of their most important players, I reckon. If you want to talk about barometer, I reckon Took Miller's probably Gold Coast barometer. Um, so he's in the very good category. Pidge, poor bloke got injured on the weekend. I think McGrath's been very good. Is this the first year he's played just out and out midfield? Because he's been super impressive. So Andy McGrath uh, goes in the very good category for mine and I think Zach Merritt potentially goes in very good or okay I think he's been I'm gonna put Zach Merritt in in okay he's been solid he's been solid for them once again the Bombers fans will probably let me know how has he been has he been very good for you blokes and in the comp has he been very very good so just let me know but I'm gonna put him in okay Christian Petrarca it's he's either been very good or elite I think he's been elite I, w I wouldn't argue if someone put Petrarca in very good. I wouldn't complain if someone put Petrarca in very good. I think he's been, you know, solid. But uh, I think he probably is on that level, on that elite level. And I think he's been performing really well, gets on the scoreboard, wins the contested ball when we need him to. So I've got track up in the elite. Dion Prestia is a very good footballer, and that's probably being a little bit disrespectful. But um, solid as a rock. Couple to go. Tim Kelly. Very good. I think his best football so far was probably at Geelong. Is that wrong to say? I think his career best footy was at the Catters. Um, but he's he's very good. Um, so I'm putting him in the very good category. And Lockie Whitfield this season. Lockie Whitfield this season. I think he's been okay. I think Lockie Whitfield has been okay this season. Now, that's me tier maker of elite midfielders for this year, I'm comfortable with it. Um, obviously, Dusty is an elite player, and as the year goes on, he'll probably go into the season, along with a lot of the guys in the very good. You probably will have them pop up. I think the gap between elite and very good is minuscule, but I think it's fair. I think when you look at the top guys, they are a little bit better and been a little bit more consistent than the guys just below them, but that's not to say the very good players won't end up in elite 
by the end of the year. All right, guys, I've talked out of my ass for long enough. Let me know in the comments down below how many howlers I've done. Uh, no doubt you guys will. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone getting around the videos, and I'll see you all very, very soon for some more content. Cheers.